Hello everyone, we will continue the topic selection screen or input screen and in the previous videos we studied what is selection screen, what is parameter, what is select option, how to create checkboxes, how to create radio buttons, how to create a selection screen block how to provide the title to the selection screen block. Now, in this video, we will learn how to create a line and then we will learn how to create comment. So we will go for two things. One is line and one is comment. Now the first question comes, yes, in which scenario we will create a line. Suppose, as of now, what is happening in our current programs? What SAP is doing by default? Whatever the parameters or select option we are giving, it is always, always in the new line. Suppose order number select option, new line. Order number, new line, parameter. This sum, subtraction, division, radio buttons, always, always it starts from a new line. Checkboxes starts from a new line. Suppose customer is saying, I do not want these three radio buttons to be in different, different line. I want these three radio buttons to be in one line. Suppose customer is saying, I want these two checkboxes not to be in different lines. I want these two checkboxes to be in one line itself. Suppose, if I will show you the already developed program, you can understand. This is the way how customer want all three radio buttons in one line. Same way, these two checkboxes to be in one line. This is the way we will do the thing for checkboxes also. Now, in these particular scenarios, we need to create a line. We need to create a line in the selection screen. Or you can understand, we want to go for a horizontal line. As of now, by default, SAP is always giving vertically. Whatever we are creating, it's always, always in the new vertical line. Now, we will create a horizontal line. And in that line, whatever we want to display, we will take all these things. So, firstly, we will learn how to create a line. If I will go for our current program, this is our program. In this program, we want three radio buttons to be the part of one line. I will log in just. Same thing I will do for checkboxes also. Okay, I will log in just. I will go to the program. I will go to same to same program. I will go to change mode. Now, these three radio buttons, I want to be in one line. So what I will do, I will begin the line, I will end the line, and in between begin and end, I will take these three radio buttons. But you can understand, I will take these three parameters. So what is the syntax? I will write selection screen. And I will go for the syntax begin of line. 
So I started the line same way I end the line also. And in between begin and end, I will take these three parameters which are for radio buttons. So I will write selection screen and I will write end of line. So I started the line, I ended the line and in between we have three parameters. Same thing I will do for these two checkboxes also because I want these two checkboxes to be in one line. So I will start the line and I will end the line. If you want all five things to be in one line, then you can simply start here and end here. If you want all radio buttons and checkboxes to be in one line. So I will simply check the syntax and activate. Now, if I will run this particular program, you can see all three radio buttons are in one line. These two check boxes are in one line. Now the question comes, what about the labels of these radio buttons? What about the labels of these two check boxes? Previously labels were coming. Now the labels are not coming. If you remember previously our labels, we provided the selection text, go to text element selection text we provided the selection text but now that text is not appearing because now we took the concept of line if you are not going for line concept no problem whatever that selection text you are giving it is appearing because that particular parameter select option are appearing in new line and the selection text, they are taking it from here. But now in one line itself, we are going for the parameters. In one line, we are going for parameters. So at that time, selection text, SAP is not taking. So now the question comes, how, how you will give the selection text to these radio buttons to these check boxes. In that case, we will simply, simply go for comment, comment. So we studied how to create a line. Now we will study how to go for comment also. Now, whenever you will go for comment, always remember two things. Whenever we will go for comment, we need to give the starting position of the comment. We need to give the starting position of the comment plus we will give the length of the comment. Suppose if I will go for current example, sum. Sum is the comment or text or label we are giving. So what is the length of the sum? Three. So we need to give the starting position as well as the length length. So now how we will do in one session, I will open this output and in another session, I will write the logic because it's very easy if you will open the output because you need to give the positions now from where it will start, from where it will end, how many characters we need to give. So if the output is open in another session, it will be very, very easy for us. Suppose I will keep this session as it is. In this session, I will write the code and I will open a another session. Now we will learn how to go for comment. So far we stood about the line. Now, if you see this line, if you see this line, our line started. We want this radio button to be as it is. This radio button is creating through this particular parameter. 
after that we want to give a comment we want to give a text or we want to give a label sum so how i will give i will simply press enter and i will write selection screen now we will create comment so i will write comment now now we need to give the starting position of the comment comment means sum in this scenario we will give now sum now just see how you will give the starting position now in your line first position is reserved by the radio button it means after that we will give the sum it means what is the starting position of the sum it is 2 now sum is how many characters long 3 so we will give the length 3 now how how you will give the sum label now in the previous video we covered yes text symbol you provided the you provided the title to the block through what text symbol same way we will give through same way we will give the text sum with the help of text symbols in the upcoming videos you will always always see that i will give the text through text symbols only they are the part of best programming practices also as a part in this particular video we all know text symbols are also also data object but they are not the part of the program we are separately creating these particular things so i will give text hyphen 001 because 000 is already reserved now i will go for 001 now it's your wish you can create this text symbol from here also or you can go from here also go to text elements you can go from here also suppose if i will show you by double clicking way if i will double click yes i want to create have you seen it is navigating me to the same place so it's totally your wish how you want to go suppose i am going for sum i will activate okay i'll just increase the length okay length is three i will activate now if i will go to back button and show you the output as of now in the parallel session now just see we have first radio button but sum and this radio button there is no space so it does not look good so rather than starting from two can i start from three yes so that one space i will get if i will activate and if i will run this now it is looking good so what is the summary of this video up to this level in this video we started with how to go for line and comment but in which scenario we will create a line in which scenario we will go for comment you are creating a line if you want to go for parameters or select option in one line itself by default sap is going for different different lines but if you want in one line itself then you need to create a line so what is the syntax selection screen begin of line end of line and in between you can give whatever you want to display in one line we want to display these three radio buttons in one line so we took this in one line we want to display these two check boxes in one line so we took in one line after that what is happening they are appearing in one line but now they are not taking the selection text so we need to give that text 
label by our own. So in that case, you need to create comment comment. Now, whenever you are creating comment, always you need to give the starting position and the length. So what is the syntax? Selection screen, comment, starting position, how many characters? And we are giving the labels through text symbols. Text symbols are data object itself. In the upcoming videos, you will get everywhere throughout this ABAP. I will always, always use text symbols for the text. In the next video, we will go for other parts of this particular program. So that's it in this video. Thank you.